How's it going guys and welcome back for another episode of Valky the Feral Warrior in the world of Gadonia. Hope you guys enjoy. So in the last episode uh, we cleared out Edmund Den, uh, got our horse spirit and also picked up the stray dog. Now I still haven't got a name for the stray dog. Uh, I'm going to leave a pinned comment and uh, I want you guys to sort of put out some name suggestions for me and um, yeah I'll sort of uh, either put it to a vote or pick the name that I like best but uh, we'll do that might be a, that might be good yeah uh, we might head up top of uh, what is it Kilimand? what are these ranges called yeah Kilman tops Go up here, get our first obelisk. Maybe I should... I reckon I should tango with this... Oh, I should be alright. Maybe. My... Stray dog can uh, tank it for a little bit. Because, yeah, you seem to be... I can do some good crits. Oh, six damage isn't too bad. And I did not want to hop back on my horse. We've almost leveled up again. I might actually, 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 actually. I'll get up here and um, we should oh, collect some eggs. I might get up this way because I know these bloody birds can sometimes be a bit of a nuisance I can get I might do some leveling up first uh, yes all right we want bloody attacks that's what we want might also to get a bit more attack damage might get that as well Ooh. nice all right we've got some Beast enchantment on our weapon. I'll just wait until that cooldown comes off so we get beast on ourselves as well. Uh, got our dog. A bit of a distraction. Well, that was a bit dumb. Playing the game too good and hit a few times. Hopefully, I can level up. And they don't. No, they did not drop any anything. Damn. I don't think they do drop anything. Really cannot remember. So I can get a bit of eggs out of them. Get so I can make these omelets. If I remember, I probably won't. Never remember to make food. Plus, I've got to get the skill point for cooking. Which would be a very good investment. Because crafting is very good in this game. If you can remember to do it. Bit of a flip. Oh, there's three of them. Can I take them out? Well, if I can do it one by one, hopefully. Doesn't really look like I'm doing much more damage here. It's a level six, which is good. Uh, here yeah, we can level up now. I sort of, I do want to get that as soon as I can. Yeah, I'll put two. Yeah, I'll. I'll oh, yeah, I've already spent them. Duh. All right, I'll try and get piercing strikes and rend. Get a bit of passive abilities up at the moment. So my dog is tanking uh, all the enemies. Which hopefully, I can find a, an axe or something. I'm going to just be trying to get. I don't know. Try and get a. 
a new weapon instead of a dagger. Like they are good, but you really need that bleed and skills in banditry and that with daggers. Want to be like a little bit of a barbarian, I suppose. Once so we've done that. Okay, so I think there's just a little bit more to go up here. Oh, don't fall. Thank you. So yeah, copper and all the wood in that is easily gathered in this starting area. Can I get him? Yep, there he is. And then yeah, if you get your crafting high enough, which you can at the start of the game, it's not too difficult to sort of achieve. Uh, yeah, it's um, can really, I wouldn't say get overpowered, but you can get pretty damn strong. You just gather craft because I uh, you can get a lot of experience. And it's not really attacking too much things either. If you just gather uh, the wood and the copper, you can make a lot of swords and stuff like that. So what is here? Stuff that I cannot wear, but I can sell. That's not too bad. The dog to take these guys out. Oh. Oh, very late on them dodges. Oh, almost walked in front of that one. Alright, come on. There we go. This is a great spot to get eggs as well. You can get a lot of eggs up here. Just getting down is a problem. Uh, this way. We should make our way up there. Where the hell do you get down here? There we go. Oh. Alright, here we go. Bit of a dodge around that little uh, tree branch. And then just down here. Oh yeah, we'll probably have to take out this. A bit of a flip. And there we go. Get in there. Right, so yeah, even in the hardest difficulty, this deer can be a very, very big pain. Like you don't really get too much out of them, but I suppose the meat I can give to the dog. If I cook, I yeah, I should use that obelisk so just so I can make my dog stronger. I reckon that'll be very handy. Uh, what do we got here? We've done all that. I can go up that way. I will. Um, just after I explore, sort of just around these mountain ranges. Maybe when I get this uh, obelisk too. Just yeah, I really got to get a better weapon. It doesn't really worry me that I'm hitting constantly. It's just not hitting hard enough. All right, we can go this way. That's where I was, just up there. Ah, uh, wolves. Probably not yet. Oh, all right, great. I just run into a pack of them. Oh, quick, get up. Get them up. Get a few more eggs up here. Like, yeah, that was pretty dumb. All right, why is everything just aggroed onto me?
Play it smart. Play it smart. What? I've got another wolf on me. Oh, what? There you go. And this bear... And that's why he should not stand in front. Oh no, he's dead. Alright, that's not good. Um, bit of a panic mode. Just that bear. That bear. Going on there. Oh, come on. I need that wolf to come up. Come on. Maybe on one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that was a bit silly. The bear's a little slow. Which is all right. Got to be patient with him. Yes, there we go. Oh, okay. And then we, then we don't go. Oh, I'm rolling too far away from him. Get this counter attacks in. Maybe on the side might be a little bit better. Yeah, they're just a little slow, but I think they can really pack a punch. Oh, that was scary. Oh, I don't know why I got off there. That was just dumb. Oh, we got bandits to deal with there. I can head up here, get some copper ore. Bandits will tear me apart early game. Just for now. So if I could just get up here, get my dog. Wait, where's my dog? Oh, there he goes. All right, deal with these eagle things. All right, good. They're both aggro to him. And a little bit of rend on enemies, which is good. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, I cannot think for the life of me where I can find some good weapons. All right, first obelisk is down. And we are going to pick up where's cooking. There it is. So we can cook some baked meat. Do we need... Actually, do we need a cooked... To cook meat to give to the dog? Yes. Alright, so, yep. Cook meat we need to get. I need to get a cape for him. And then you're sort of done. Do need to come up to these hills a bit proper. Actually, did the bandits drop a axe? I cannot remember. Been so long. Oh, I know they're Jax. Trying to play it a little safe at the start. I don't know why I'm collecting copper ore. I'm just going to sell it, really. Can um, put some points into alchemy as well. I don't mind crafting my own potions. Healthy roots are pretty good for. I think you can get poisons and stuff. Pretty sure you can get poisons and stuff like that from them. The healthy roots. That's all the berries and stuff that you can gather. 
Well, tomatoes, I suppose. Yeah, we did take out all these wolves here. I might try and... Yeah, I suppose we can keep going with these wolves. Since we've uh, taken out a few of them already. And the dog has been extremely handy at the start of this game. Get a bit of leather and raw meat from him. And then wolves. There's a few more. Oh, I was going to... Okay. Are they all going to aggro on me? I can get sort of one at a time. Alright, come on, dog. I have no idea where that other one went. Where'd it go? Over here. There we go. Alright, done. We're doing really well at the moment. Alright, cool. Also, I was just thinking the other day, like for the dog armor, I know you can get cloaks and that, but I was just thinking like, instead of an actual cape on the dog, what about like a bandana around its neck? That could be a pretty cool um, little accessory or, in yeah, instead of having the actual cloak, just put the sort of bandana as the cloak. I don't know. Just thinking of sort of different dog armor your dog companion I don't know let me know what you guys think I could actually to get a few levels under my belt I could talk to old Bill and just see him in the in the distance back there and I'll zap yeah the start of the game is a bit slow just because of uh, all the gathering and sort of a bit of prep you don't really need to do this if you're playing a little bit easier. I just like to be a little bit over prepared. Like I reckon as soon as I, as soon as I get my dual wielding axes, um, I'll be a lot more comfortable. But you do have to s sort of be a little bit higher level. Which isn't too bad, I suppose, but. Just going to gather and see what we can get. A bit of alchemy does not hurt, especially if you can make your own potions, you can save a lot of money. Also with cooking, some of that, um, is it the meat? Like you can have the meat and just your melee damage goes up. It's very handy to have. But unfortunately, I need the meat for the dog. And we are going to cook. Actually, we'll go here. We'll sell up a little bit. I think I was meant to do that in between episodes, but... Yeah, I forgot. How's it going? Welcome. We can also buy this... Oh, we've got no, got no cash. In, um, yeah, cash anyway. Sell all of that. And can you just... What do these do? Oh no, there's the button that I was looking for. Right, we can do that. We don't need arrows. Just get rid of them. Um, how do I sell them? There we go. Shift and right click. Uh, leather, we don't need that. So, uh, it's a bit of health regen as well. Does come in very handy. And potatoes, mushrooms. We gathered in the cave. Um, I think we're pretty good there. We can buy this book. We will need that a bit later. I'm pretty sure we need raw meat. 
and we can cook. I'm pretty sure it's raw meat. We will make a fair bit of this. I might just leave it at that. For now, I cannot do cooking just yet. And then we can boost up our dog. Oh, look at that. All right, so we've got two points. We can either give him more healing or more damage. I think... A bit of healing might really help. And then we can go bonus armor. I think that's really going to help. What that? Um, no, not just yet. Uh, oh, yes. Should I go more movement speed? Yeah, more movement speed. Nice. Rocking out. Alchemy or food. Hmm. Oh, since I can't do anything there. I might do that just so I have a bit of healing because um, I do struggle sometimes to get to rebind all those keys too. Well... Since we've just sort of done that and leveled up a little bit, I reckon I can level up if I go up to this cave. This is where you pick up your first main quest. I haven't sort of done it this way before. Yes, this uh, deer is still here. There we go. So our dog should heal as well during combat, which is very handy. Alright, get some more raw meat as well, which is great. So if I can polish off that um, mystery quest. It is... Where is it? It's sort of like in the next suburb. Golden Forest, we can do that because I've got a hand in a quest there for the Barbarians. Alright, so what's here? Ah, this is different. This looks nice. They're going to be lost in here. Is there secrets here? Hmm. I should have just. Oh, this looks really nice. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should have stayed down there. That freaked me out a little bit. Okay, nice. It's a good little... This area has changed so much. It's... I, I like it. I, th I think I do like it a lot better than the last one. I do miss, you know, the cutscenes where you climb the mountain, but... You know, it's fine. It's all good. Yeah, nice. It's a great little change. Alright, let's head back to the village. I think we're going to talk to... Uncle. Pretty sure. And uh, does the blacksmith actually sell items? I cannot remember. If I can... No, I don't want a blacksmith. I want the blacksmith. Actually, I know where to get a bloody axe from. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm so dumb sometimes. Alright. Now I'm going to quickly go get the axe. Mm, I know you're a merchant, but alright. We'll go get one of our weapons. That we really want. See, there is a lumber camp down here, and you do the event, and you can get a lumber, uh, was it? A lumberjack's axe? 
pretty sure that's what you get from it. Doing a good job. All right, we're going to go here. You know, the, yeah, Lumberjack Axe. And we leveled up. Nice. All right, let's... um. Did I sell the wood that I had? Yes, I did. I'm an idiot. Should have kept that bloody wood. So yeah, very handy tip. Uh, if you gather all wood in the world, like just or around starting area, you can just hand it in here as well. So if I didn't sell that wood, it'd be fine. You don't have to hand in anymore. And you get to keep it? Oh, nice. Alright. It is a bit of a normal weapon, but that's fine. We will deal with um, Bill in another episode at the moment. We'll just go back and talk to our uncle. Um, I should... Yeah, I'll keep the wood because there is another lumberjack in... The Endless Plains as well. I think, yeah, with, with this weapon, sort of chunk them down a little bit more. Might be better for us. Alright, we can go up here, we'll get some berries. These will be very handy as well. Plus they give us a bit of a mana and health as well. Like 20 is pretty good. And instantly. It's pretty damn good. Not sure how much the potions give you. 40. So. Probably was a little, a little bit hasty. Oh, what do you, oh. I wouldn't mind more mana regen. Thanks, mate. So, I think we've got a bit of regen there. Oh, another salesman. I am hardly making a profit myself. Oh, yeah, mate. Could buy another one. Nah. Oh, you can get a simple bronze ring here as well. Now, I'm pretty sure I cannot get I think I've got the leather vest. Do I have the leather vest? Sort of. So critical strike and one armor. It's probably way better. Put that there. Sell that. I'll buy that and I'll buy that. And oh yeah, so it's just 12 gold. It's not too bad. You can have all that. I'm a bit of a hoarder, so... No, I can... Yeah, alright, there we go. I might do that for now. I still got this bow. I don't want this bow. Should have kept it, but anyway. Oh, maybe... No, I've got simple gloves. That's good. That's fine. Everything's good there. Alright, thanks, buddy. Oh, better put a shirt on. There we go. Character is coming together. All right, uh, we'll talk to on John here. Is it John? Uncle John. Hi there. Uncle, there was a cave up the mountain. You've returned already? What did you find? I'm not sure. I saw some figures in the fog. Some runes written in an ancient language, and a voice. He said something about a cycle and gods and warriors fighting. What does it all mean? I wish I were able to tell you. Do you really need to know this? Yes. Then I might know a man who can help you. His name is Ernest Hoffner. He was the best expert in ancient languages I know of. Now, he doesn't participate in any researches at all. He lives in the house near the Golden Forest. He might be able to help you. Thank you, Uncle. 
I will go immediately. This might not be a good idea. The road could be dangerous, so perhaps you need to get a horse for Mr. Alton and some equipment before you go. One step ahead of your Uncle John. All right, so that's our second episode sort of wrapped up. So in the third episode, we're sort of going to make our... We might make our way down and we'll actually get to... Um, no, Alton, what is it? What's his name? Ernest. The Ernest? I just forgot the name already. He'll go up there to Ernest. We can get that... Um, Oh, actually, no, we'll, we'll go down. We'll finish uh, Green Bales. Oof. Can't wait to do all that, too. Yeah, we should finish uh, Green Bale. Go down here and... Oh, well, hmm. A bit everywhere, aren't I? I sort of just really want to get this uh, dual wielding up. But, yeah, we'll sort of head down here and do a few quests. Maybe loop back around. Or maybe go, like, right around. Come back down do that so anyway guys thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it and hope to see you guys next time for some more gadonia all right guys take care